Hi, I'm Dr. C. Look, I have a PhD, and I'm here to tell you about Appeals to Ethos. 10 out of 10 writing teachers recommend Appeals to Ethos for all your rhetorical needs. So, we're talking about ethos. You might hear the word ethos and naturally think of ethics, and yes, but also no. Appeals to ethos focus on the credibility or character of the author or of someone the author is trying to get you to listen to. That old nine out of 10 doctors or dentists or whatever recommend that I spoofed in the intro is like max level appeal to ethos. Hey, dentists know about teeth. Maybe I should listen to them about which toothpaste to buy. This type of claim says, listen to this expert. They know what they're talking about. You should do what they say. Here's the thing though, the person you're supposed to be listening to may or may not actually be an expert, or they may be an expert in something else, but not in the thing they're actually talking about. If I tell you to use rhetorical appeals in your writing, you can trust me because I do in fact have a PhD in rhetoric. If on the other hand, I try to tell you which toothpaste to use, maybe you shouldn't listen to me, but that's still an appeal to ethos. Another way appeals to ethos can manifest is if an author is trying to illustrate something about their character. And this has become kind of a hot thing with some companies recently. They create, not a commercial exactly, but some piece of media that may or may not show a product, but illustrates who the company is as a brand, what the character of the company is supposed to be, what values that company supposedly holds. And the idea is that the targeted audience will go, yeah, I have those values too. I should buy their stuff and support this company because they have the same values as me. Land O'Lakes, Nike, and Gillette have all done this at least once recently. Should you buy someone's stuff or support a nonprofit or volunteer with an organization because they share the same values as you? Honestly, I think it depends, just as the same with logos and pathos. As with appeals to logos and pathos, appeals to ethos are a tool that you can use or that can be used at you. I don't wanna say against you because that sounds combative and that's not always the case, which is kind of my point. But you see what I mean. It's a tool for both analysis and creation. One last thing I want to remind you is that these tools, rhetoric, logos, pathos, ethos, they're not just for media that are overtly persuasive they can be present in everyday communication too. But that's a topic for a whole nother video.